Here I am at the third largest city in Japan, Osaka. It is a lot more quiet in the morning than I expected. Mochi is my childhood favorite dessert. I didn't have a whole lot of different kind of mochi. And I've certainly never seen giant fruit mochis, like how do they even make these? It needs to be kept so fresh that it came with a tiny ice pack. There are things in life that are not as well seen, like the Grand Baking work with Alice in Wonderland, where it is a children's literature but really also meant for adults. I love the complexity that allows so much interpretation and the creative imagery with the characters and the story. I bought this white rabbit to lead me into this wonderland of Japan and symbolize my love for adventure and curiosity to explore the unknown. I used to think eating alone in restaurants sounds so uncool, but in practice, it's actually therapeutic. You have unlimited space to consider your wants and needs, get to know yourself, relax, take your time, and best when you get to enjoy amazing views and unlimited hot tea. Did you know Osaka is the birthplace of instant noodle? I'm sure many of you love instant noodle. It's invented by Momofuku Anto in 1958 after the devastation of World War II. He wanted to create something that was quick and easy to make even after a disaster. In this museum, there are some activities you can do here. I want to make my own cup noodle and this is actually my first time using a vending machine in Japan. I am very confused, especially since all the choices here are the same. They're the same cups, right? The green things is actually my specialty. I was known as the artist among my friends drawing these cute characters. I haven't done these for a long time until I started traveling and drawing on postcards. I didn't buy any postcards in Japan, so this will be my drawing illustrating what I did here. <laughs> I decided to choose a topping based on what they look like even though I would never eat this cup noodle so I would never open it as it will forever be a souvenir for me. Although I really should have brought an extra one so I can experience eating the cup noodle too. You can never regret eating anything in Japan. I had a little struggle figuring out how to put the air into the bag, but once I did now, my noodles are perfectly protected. Osaka night is lively. The amount of people feels like a spectacle of some sort. It's also great to people watch, which is a great way to de-stress or a form of entertainment to see how other people interact or learn about other cultures in the most natural setting. As I people watch, I realize how not lonely I am doing this trip. It's easy to assume that solo travel could be lonely, but it really depends on you. If you are at a good place, a good relationship with yourself, you will not feel lonely. But even if you're not, you shouldn't shy away from solo travel because you get to learn so much by yourself. Like, I didn't know if I would be lonely in this trip or not, but now I really know. I wouldn't. Gradually learn to love myself more, to learn what are the things that are important to me, enjoyable to me, and the more I do that, the more I enjoy being with myself. Japan has so many skyscrapers, but I am especially mesmerized with the architecture here. Fun fact, one of the passive careers I have considered when I was young was becoming an architect. While that was a short-lived dream, I still love architecture so much. To me, they are giant, beautiful pieces of art. Don't you think so?
Going into the Osaka night market, there are stunning amount of people and feels completely different than Tokyo. With endless dresses and food shopping, and this river is the vibe of the night market of seafood. Also right away, you see all things themed in octopus, takoyaki, and crab, which are the things you must try here. struggling with another vending machine experience this time around slightly easier and looking at them making takoyaki at the speed of lightning i am so excited for this i couldn't really feel myself eating this but it is so hot and steamy i usually don't eat crab because the effort it takes to eat them from the shell but i decided to try this crab sashimi the 3d crab advertisement really sold me packaging is excellent as usual in japan and the sashimi is so fresh and yummy This skyscraper is special because on the top it has multiple floors for different experiences. There are different dining options. I really like the one where you can sit down and eat a hot pot to enjoy the view as well as renting their traditional Japanese clothing for the full experience. I was a little sad that I couldn't experience it due to being very late so I just took a few pictures. There are more ways to enjoy the view. On the tower outside of the skyscraper, there is this garden that is so pretty when it lights up at night and you can see some stunning views as well. Check out my solo Nara trip or my Japan playlist. Click it! <laughs> 